it, it really is dependent from in our line of business from project to project on how we do measure productivity. So there are a variety of systems and tracking tools that we, we utilize to measure productivity to see, for example, you know, if we have uh, a team that is responsible for, let's say, uh, processing X amount of applications a day, right? We, we look at our, our, our tracking tools and we, we identify our, our team members hitting the goals. You know, we, we first have to establish what those goals are, right? So, you know, we, we right. can't expect our team to meet productivity requirements if they don't know what those requirements are, right? So understanding and, and establishing what are the goals and uh, clearly communicating those. And then looking at those various tools, those, those tracking tools that we've established, um, some that we've we've inherited throughout the years, some that we create and we're currently building and establishing, just depending on the nature of the of the project. Um, but we use those to track, you know, are they hitting those markers? Are they hitting those expectations? Those those uh, those KPIs, right? Um, mm -hmm. So we we that is that's how we're currently measuring. Um, Productivities. We do look at things from a system standpoint. Um, we'll say, you know, from a transaction standpoint, are we are we hitting the number of transactions that we need to hit for the day, for the month, um, for the year? Right. We look at it from that perspective. Um, in other departments, it's not so black and white. Right. So sometimes mm -hmm. there's a series of um, different types of data. We'll say that we got to collect. You know, sometimes we're looking at customer satisfaction. You know, maybe that's a a piece right. that we're trying to measure, uh, which is not always easy to measure, right? You know, we have to go through a couple of different avenues to gather that information, but we can evaluate productivity, you know, just gathering various mm -hmm. different metrics from various different resources. So uh, again, it depends on the the project that we're, we're working, but I would say most of what we, we leverage is our systems because we built them um, and we set them up in a way to capture the data that we need. Right. Yeah. And it's, it's very complex. Like just knowing a little bit about what you guys do, it's a very complex thing to, to manage productivity because you have so many different stakeholders that are, you're having to manage both on your side and the uh -huh. client side and the type of work that you do for each client is not always the same, you know, so the outcome or measurable is not going to always right. be the same. So being able to track that across the company is, can prove to be very difficult. Yes, it can be. Uh, the great thing is that we've been able to leverage tools like um, Power BI, where we can take data from right. multiple systems and we can bring them mm -hmm. all together and create various yeah. dashboards and reports that, you know, they may not necessarily say the same thing, you know, from project to project, but they give the information that's necessary for us to determine, are we staying on track? Mm -hmm. Are we being productive? Are we meeting performance, you know, metrics? So. So it's, it's mm -hmm. kind of great that we can leverage those tools also to kind of help us, you know, from a higher level, manage and maintain those things, to have full transparency, 